Today we're going to be taking a look at this Mobila 7 One S. Nothing new, right? It's been out for maybe a year or two already. But this one is a little bit extra special. This is the Mobila 7 One S, or rather it says Mobilite 7 Walk Snail. And this is the Walk Snail edition of the Mobila 7 One S. And very similar to the previous iteration, this is a 75mm whoop, but uh, unlike the previous one, which just had an analog VTX, this one already comes built in, uh, the One S uh, Walk Snail VTX already built in. Now it came like it, it came in the box uh, like this, where the antenna was not attached. I'm not sure if this was on purpose, uh, you know, for shipping or it got dislodged. Uh, I already tried putting it back earlier. It seems it gets loose quite easily, but yeah. So let me know how you know how you got your um, walk snail version of the Mobile Seven, if uh, if the antenna was removed. And uh, it comes with an, a spare canopy. Your, uh, I think this is a, yeah, this looks like the plug, the USB plug for the walk snail. It comes with spare props, a screwdriver, a prop tool. As always with Happy Model, they send their, uh, their products with the stickers. But it doesn't come with any batteries. It doesn't even come with, uh, with a manual. So this came with my walk snail haul. I got the goggles X. I got a couple of um, avatar uh, VTXs. And I got this as a bundle with the, with the goggles. So it just costs around $520. And uh, in my opinion, that's a really, really good deal, especially if you're just getting into, into the HD system or if you're just getting into FPV and you're looking for an HD system. Now, all you need is a radio that is capable of ELRS and and some batteries and you're good to go. And since this is a, this you just use a 1S battery, it's going to be a very very cheap uh, entry into FPV. So uh, everything I'm going to mention here is going to be linked down below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which doesn't cost you anything to you know, when you click on that uh, when you make a purchase. But uh, the company gives me a small commission. It weighs in at around 35.2 grams. It's very, very light. Luckily, I have a, a spare 1S battery, but it doesn't have the right connector. This is uh, an XT30 and I need an A30. But, you know, just to check the weight. Um, it's all, all up. It's right around 50 grams, slightly less than 50 grams. But uh, yeah, it's, it's around 50 grams. And for 50 grams, you get a 75 millimeter whoop that you can fly indoors or outdoors. Um, and it already has a, a very clear digital FPV feed. So that is going to be really, really great. And you know, the, you can use this when you're out in a park, you can use this around the house. There's, this is going to be a very versatile whoop for you to, you know, to practice on, or, you know, even for the more experienced ones, this is going to be a great addition to your fleet. So, um, I just need to get, <laughs> To order some batteries, I always, always order my 1S batteries from Kaiju Power and even my 6S batteries. And uh, luckily, I think he has some A30 uh, batteries in stock. My other batteries are also bloated anyway, so, so I really need to buy batteries anyway. This is the Mobila 7 1S. This is the Moblite 7 1S HD. And this one has an 8030 connector, among other things. It has a different canopy. I believe the frame is a little bit different. I'm not sure if they are completely co compatible or they completely redesigned the frame. Looks the same, but don't, don't really know for sure. So unlike the Mobila 7 1S, which just has an RS0802 20,000 kV motors, this has slightly wider motors with this RS1002 20,000 kV motors. Not sure if that's visible on the camera. The Moblite 7 1S has an A30 connector. And uh, this is compatible with a BT2 connector from Beta FPV, but this was developed by by GNB, and uh, you can tell this is a GN this is a GNB connector because of that groove there. And if you buy a GNB battery, you can buy it with the this uh, A30 connector as well. Now um, this is different from the earlier connector that, that GNB developed. This is 
this is a 1s uh, charger that i got unfortunately this is the gnb 27 and uh, as you can see it's much larger than the a30 so it's not compatible um so if you have your fleet ha still has a ph 2.0 connectors you can also get some um you know some of these a30 connectors from gnb and uh you know just swap them to your current fleet and then just get these kinds of batteries with the a30 connector already uh, pre-installed and um, the nice thing about this is that you can use your any, any of your um, BT 2.0 um, chargers like the Vifly Whoop Store uh, chargers because those have uh, BT 2.0 ports so you can easily uh, charge these batteries and um, these A A30 connectors are superior to the Beta FPV B BT 2.0 connectors I will just leave Joshua Bardwell to explain that. I'll just link uh, a video he has about the, uh, the BT2 and the A30 connector down in the description below. So here I am flying the Mobilite 7 around the house. This is a 75 millimeter whoop making it perfect for ripping it uh, around the house or, or, or at your backyard or a small park or even if you want to fly it indoors inside your house. So this is a 1S as well so it does have some power limitations and can see here that there's a lot of prop wash when I try to do that split S um, but it is still pretty capable um, if you fly smoothly uh, it can still, still do some freestyle it's perfect for you know for entering into the iGAO challenge or even for racing because as, as you can see this thing uh, moves pretty quickly so the digital feed on this is the Waxnail avatar system it's a, it's crystal clear and here at the opposite side of the house, I would normally get breakup uh, when I was in analog and that is not an issue here. As well as getting HD, HD video on something that you otherwise you wouldn't be able to put a GoPro on. Now the Waxing Avatar system has a low voltage cutoff at 3.1 volts. So you won't be able to you know, really push the limits of your battery because you're going to lose video feed. But even then I was still getting around 3 minutes on this, uh, on this Mobilite 7. It's perfect for traveling light because you can just throw it into your bag with your walk snail goggles and maybe a small radio like the Radio Master Pocket or TBS Tango 2. And here I brought it on one of our travels to Sikihor um, and I'm just flying around our hostel. Since it's very small, it's also very unobtrusive and it's, it's not likely to disturb or bother any of the, the people around you. And uh, it's, it, since uh, the Waxnail avatar system can record in 720p or 1080p, it's also perfect for capturing memories. It doesn't have a built-in gyro, but uh, Gyroflow is uh, doing a decent job with stabilizing the footage just using the video data. So as you can see here, it's, uh, it, it, it's a little bit shaky, but using Gyroflow, you can stabilize the footage so that it's uh, much more pleasing to the eyes. So the stock firmware installed on the Mobilite 7 is the 33.39.10 firmware and it's weird because these things actually shipped together but uh, this one was already on the 36.42.4 and they didn't think of uh, upgrading the VT VTX on this one. Um, so you are going to have to do that yourself uh, and upgrade it first to the 36.42.4 because that has a kernel update before updating to much newer firmware like the, the 37 firmware. Now what I like about the Mobilite 7, especially combined with the Goggles X, is that it's a very very cheap entry into the world of FPV if you're just, just planning to start out or if you're planning to switch to digital because at $520 that's a really really tough uh, deal to beat even during the days of analog and you just need to get an, uh, a radio, an, an ELRS radio which isn't very expensive as well. Um, you get one, your 1S chargers and 1S batteries, which are also very, very cheap. And you're, you know, you're off to the races, you're, you're, you're ready to fly. It's also small and very portable, so it's, it's perfect for um, either for just flying around your, the backyard or a small park, or even for you know, bringing it along on your travels. And since it's ha it has an HD feed, you're going to get a really, really nice crisp video. And you don't need to put any other HD camera on this, like an Insta360 Go or a, th a Runcam Thumb or a Hawkeye uh, 4K Thumb. It has a very clear feed with good range and penetration. The 1S VTX only goes up to 500 milliwatts, 
but it's 1S anyway, so you're not really going to go for lo really long range. So that's just uh, that's just perfect for this kind of setup. Now the drawback of having a digital VTX is that it gets hot really, really quickly. So um, after plugging in your battery, you want to take off around after uh, within 10 or 20 seconds, and you want to keep moving to keep the airflow on that VTX and to keep it cool. So the, pro the problem is if you crash, uh, you only have a, few, uh, a couple of seconds uh, to recover your whoop before it starts overheating. And once it overheats, you're going to lose your video feed. And there's also that 3.1 volt cutoff. So I believe uh, the VTX on this is powered directly from LiPo. You can't really push your LiPos like you would on an analog whoop because uh, as soon as you hit 3.1 volts, the video is going to cut off. Unlike with uh, with an analog whoop, you can still you know drop it down to three volts, two point nine volts, and really really push that thing. It's really not suggested for your for the health of your batteries anyway. But um, you know, certain when you're in the groove or if you're in the races, um, you sometimes you you would need that extra point zero point one or point two volts of of uh, juice left on your uh, on your whoop. Now I also mentioned how good a dealer this is. Unfortunately, it's also hard to come by. It's out of stock uh, with Cadex, and I'm not really really sure who else uh, carries uh, the Goggles X and the Whoop, the the Mobilite Seven combo. But I spoke to Cadex over on uh, on their Facebook uh, page and asked if there were they had any plans of. Uh, bringing it back in stock and thankfully I think within uh, within three days from from today they said they were going to uh, it was going to be back in stock so as soon as you finish this video and as soon as Cadex uh, restocks it on their uh, on their store make sure you click on that uh, link I, I've, I'll put a link to this in the description below um, and uh, make sure you you go get one because I don't think this is going to last long as well I think it's going to run out so if you don't have your your uh, wax nail goggles yet and um, you're just planning to get this combo I highly recommend it so I'm going to leave you with that there are a lot more videos in the pipeline and I'm still working on a lot of uh, different projects so make sure you are subscribed to uh, my channel if you like this vid video click on that like button as well so that YouTube shows it to a lot more people and consider sending me a coffee or a patreon um, the links are down in the description as well if you think that this video was worth it and the information I presented to you was uh, uh, was worth it and that uh, the effort that I put into this video was worth it alright so I'm going to leave you with that as always keep building and keep flying Thank you.